Fred Miller, No Sweat Public Speaking. This video is about slide basic do's and don'ts. <laughs> but the bottom line with all communication, verbal, written, or visual is the same. We want the recipients as quickly as possible to get it. They may not agree with everything you say. They may not agree with anything. But unless they get it, you can't have a conversation going forward. Slides are a great way, if used correctly, to help people get it. And here's why. We have three learning styles. Visual, that's probably 65% of us. We learn by looking. 35% of us are auditory. We learn by hearing things. And the remainder are kinesthetic people. People who learn by doing. Let's talk about text first for these slides. Text is not my favorite, you'll see that. <laughs> okay, we bring up PowerPoint and it says text. Then you type in something, you hit enter and it's more text. Then you do it again and it says more text. And you wind up in the PowerPoint hall of shame. I'm sure you've seen presentations like this. Uh, some of you have probably made presentations like this. Or maybe you bring up a template like this. Oh my gosh, could you imagine reading this from the audience? Oh, that'd be a groaner. I'm just going to let you read this. These are bullet points. Bullet points do not reinforce a message. They complicate the message. They confuse the audience and they conflict with the presenter. And here's why, as we just saw. You're reading here. The audience is reading here because they read faster than they hear. And there you are, completely confused. They're not going to get it. Bullet points kill. <coughs> kill the bullet points. Let's talk about text. If you're going to use text, and you're going to have to use some, make it simple. Things like this, different colors and different fonts, those only confuse you. Stay with simple text. Here's 32 point. They say that's the minimum. I like 60 point much better. If you use text, do it like this. <laughs> that way they can't read ahead of you. Now, sometimes you have to use text. It might be for the uh, theme of a slide presentation. But use it minimally. Put an angle. That gets people's attention a little bit better. Add a little color to it, if you must. Flashy stuff. <coughs> Don't use that either. I'm a Mac guy, and I would have things flying in. I'd have spinning out. Images fly in, fly out. Drop in, flash out. Wipe up, wipe out. Flip in. Get wiped out by a comet. I'd always end with a guy popping out in the middle and going out in a flash. That's all clutter. That's a distraction. Keep your presentations clean, simple. Think zen-like. And let's talk about transitions. I'm sure you've seen some of these. Whoa, that really adds to the presentation, doesn't it? Pretty slick, but it's clutter. It's a distraction. Don't use it. And how about those corporate templates? Boy, that's great, isn't it? No, it's all clutter. You could have your name and contact information on every single slide. And if you're lousy, no one will call. On the other hand, you don't have to have on any slides. And if you're great, they will seek you out. Here's my template. You're welcome to use it. You need more time? <laughs> Here's another one of mine. Okay, have you got it? Well, instead of text, how about using images? We think in terms of images. Great way to start a speech is picture this. Let's look at an example. If I say the word apple, you probably don't see the letters A-P-P-L-E. You probably see something round, red. Let's try another one. Kiwi fruit, kiwi fruit. Let's do like the eye doctor. Better? 
better. <laughs> no one ever says, oh, Fred, go back to that text. I can't wait to go to the store and get some kiwi when we're out of this conference. And as far as those images, they have to be universally understood. Some of you have had a little psychology training. This is called an ink blot or a Rorschach image. Psychologists and psychiatrists use these to get people to describe their maladies because people see this differently. Don't make your images like that. And when it comes to your images, well, that's probably too small. Very clear, though. Oh, there's one you bought and didn't buy high enough resolution. That's terrible. That's a real distraction. Now that, <laughs> that looks sharp. High quality, universally understood images and the right resolution. And think about it. Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Flickr, YouTube, moving images. That's what people are used to. And make those clean and simple. There's a crowd. There's a crowd. Let's do like the eye doctor again. Better, <laughs> better. Clean and simple. Cheap clip art. <coughs> Don't use that either. And I know you can do all kinds of fancy stuff with your software. Nice image like this, and you can make drop shadows with it. <coughs> Don't. It's a distraction. It's clutter. Some of you are photographers, and you'll notice this. You divide your screen into nine equal sections. And where they intersect, those are your PowerPoints. Place your images there. Watch this. Centered to the side. Let's do like the eye doctor again. Better? Better. <laughs> Absolutely. Here's another thing. If you have an image that's looking a specific direction, get it to the side so they're looking to the middle. And we can do all kinds of fancy things with this software. Maybe have it move across the screen. Every once in a while, that's okay. Don't do it like that, though. <laughs> they can't follow it. And you can add sounds. I've been adding some sounds as we go along, like a buzzer. That gets the audience's attention. That's great stuff. You can add music to your slide presentations. Listen to this. That's appropriate music. Pretty cool. This is my show before the show. This warms the audience up. Good stuff. And you can use video. Just going to show you a short clip of one I use that you're going to love this. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. Isn't that great? Michael Jordan. That adds to my presentation about the value of failure. Well, it's time to close this presentation. Let's review very quickly what we talked about. Make those slide presentations clean, simple, zen-like, right? Use high-quality images. You, you the speaker, provide the text. Do that, and I guarantee your next presentation will be absolutely, positively, <laughs> there's no doubt in my mind, that presentation will be no sweat. Till next time, this is Fred Miller. No sweat public speaking.